Hey, it's Zach. Uh, tonight we're gonna make a really good cabbage dish. If you like cabbage, you need to stay tuned to watch this. Uh, let me show you what you're gonna need. I've got about five pieces of bacon I'm gonna cut up into pieces. I've got a whole head of cabbage. I've got two medium-sized onions I'm gonna chop up. I'm gonna use about maybe five cloves of garlic. Got about a half stick of butter, some chicken stock, some white vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar if you want. And I like Slappy Mom Cajun season. You can use whatever Cajun seasoning you want. Um, and then salt and pepper to taste. So stand by, I'm gonna do some prep work and then we'll be back. All right, we're back. Um, I chopped up my bacon into pieces and I put that in the instant pot to turn on the saute function. And I diced my onions and I put that in there about the same time because I really want that, really want those onions to cook down. So once the onions are cooked down good, Go ahead and add your garlic, and it was about five cloves of garlic. And I'm not going to saute those long. Just about a minute. You're just trying to sweat them out. You don't want to burn them, so maybe a minute, maybe less. Get them stirred in. Boy, that really does smell good. Yes, yeah, they're already sweating. They really smell hot. So I'm gonna turn my saute function off. And I've got about half a cup of chicken stock. And I'll pour that in there. Kind of stop the cooking process and deglaze the bottom of the pot. Uh, now I've got my head of lettuce that I cut up, or sorry, head of cabbage. Oh, losing some. And this is really going to cook down. So it may look like it's filling the pot right now, but it's really going to cook down. I'm going to attempt to stir it up as much as I can, but it's kind of hard. Alright, now I've got half a stick of butter. Just lay on top right there. Alright, I've got a tablespoon I've got a tablespoon of Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. You can use whatever Cajun seasoning you like, uh, but I like Slap Your Mama. So, I'm going to put a tablespoon of that in there. Scatter that around. Then I've got a tablespoon of white vinegar, and you can use apple cider vinegar if you want. Okay. And now it's just salt and pepper to taste, so I'm not even going to measure it. Because uh, if it needs more, when I'm done, I'll add more. All right. Take a look at it. All right, I'm putting my lid. I'm going to put it to seal. All right, I've got my lid on set to seal. Pressure cook or manual button, whatever yours is. And bring it out in three minutes. And when it cooks, do a quick release and it'll be done. I'll show you what it's going to look like. We're done. All right, we're back. I did three minutes pressure cooking and did a five minute natural release and then I hit the switch. That's what we got. This is really good. It's got a good flavor to it. Um, so if you like cabbage, this is a uh, for sure a recipe to try. So, all right, we'll see y'all next time.